this will be one of the rare instances where I'll actually be using the duty finder in this recap thing. I might be using it throughout all of Stormblood, though. Which I'm not that crazy about. Um, you know, hopefully the our tank takes the lead because I'm a little out of it, so I actually for, forget some of the little more minor obvious things you need to do in this. You know, most of most of it's just run, and you'll be fine. Don't remember if this part's voiced or not. Nope. So here we are! There's a, there's a point where it becomes all voice scenes. The ultimate weapon will almost certainly be housed in the depths of the complex. People in some casual gear. <laughs> this is it, my friend! Until um, people haven't loaded in yet. My oh, gosh, where is everybody? Oh, that's right. I don't have their names on at all. And so this part we just skip because we bother pulling anything. We just end up dying. A lot of people end up dying in that part, especially if you're super new. One of the few sections we actually have to kill the mobs. You grab that key. I got some people open up on it. I actually don't know which one's Zenos. I know he's a little Aura girl. <laughs> have his name off. In these enemies, but no one has to fight them. And this part's a little tricky. You either get caught by these enemies, or you can run past them. And I got all the aggro, so I think I'm gonna die. Or I made it, I made it! <laughs> Let's see if everyone makes it. Nope, someone did not make it. Poor guy. Oh yeah, people are dying. That's the key. Aw, oh, yeah. Making good progress. Gaius! Ah, Sid, my boy, you are late. There is something I always meant to tell you, yet the time never seemed right. It concerns your father. What of him? In the winters of this year's, Mid Midas came to abhor, abhor his pan on the meteor. He told me that he wanted nothing more to wash his hands of the whole sordid business. <laughs> but he did not wash his hands of it. He helmed the project until the day it killed him. Whenever I start tripping over words, I have to, like, speed read. Come on now, Sid. You must know that he did not have a luxury of choice. 
but the, by the time he realized his error, it was too late. Meter had him completely in its thrall. Shortly before his transformation, Mayhap, sensing that something was amiss, your father confided to me all the regrets of his life. Most of them concerned you. Damn. Damn. Early on in your career, he realized that while you had talent for devising armaments, it would never fulfill you. Long before he knew of your m own mind, he saw that you would be far happier using your knowledge for peaceful purposes, and thought touched him. He was a changed man for it, though. Yeah, the thought touched him. He was a changed man for it, though. He could not let it show. You blew holes in this place just so you could say this to me? What is it you want, Gaius? I want you at my side, Sid. Take up your father's mantle and become the Empire's lead engineer. It is your destiny. My father had a change of heart. You said it so yourself. Besides, I have a long known my destiny, and I assure you, it lies not with the Empire. A pity. And what of you, adventurer? Will you consider making common cause of, with me? With your powers joined to mine, we might do much with this realm. Together, we could bring order to Eorzea and usher in a lasting peace. No, I can expect no better answer than this. So be it. It was your strength that made me proffer my hand in friendship. But it is your strength that makes me proffer now in my blade. I save as an ally. You are too dangerous to be let to remain. Yeah, To be let to remain. Save as an ally. Alright, fun times. Run, Sid, or stay. It makes no matter. You cannot escape the past. Also, I realize I messed up. Guys, wait, damn it! I messed up by making everyone's names invisible for the party, but their names are completely still visible on the side of the screen. So I don't know, I might have to do something about that. Party's having fun in chat. <laughs> Knowing guys, he is headed for the ultimate weapon. If we find him, so to oh crap, so to so to something. With these instructions, we cannot we can monitor every nook and cranny in the cast room. Oh wait, I have an event. It takes you to divide our forces. Pray, go ahead and give chase. I'll track the movements from here and guide you through the complex. And it's to the final. So who will find we our quarry? There we go. So we'll stay in contact via Link Pearl. Be careful, all right? We got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Why are you clamming for Eureka content? <laughs> all right. Well, they're not moving. Oh, someone else still...
get that key, Rita? Make sure everyone's up here. Looks like we're good. Oh, that's Zenith's. Wait, is that? No. This. Wait, no. Oh, Enos is the bard. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Must. It's. Look, it's got the symbol. It's our baby from the other quest. With our mammoth heart. We are reunited. Ah, there she is! I trust you recognize our old friend Maggie, was it? They must have slipped, shipped her here from something. Consider all she's been through. I wonder if she's still operation, though, old girl. Shipped her from where? Shipped her from Sentry. Now that you're suitably armed, you can blast open the bulkhead. The external walkway will take you back there. Now, a lot of people like to idle here. Follow it until you come upon a way down to the lower level. Haste plus three, baby? Oh, I see. You're used to the perks. Yeah, I still gotta do Eureka myself. But, you know, with this little side project of mine, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do Eureka anymore. Kill you guys. I probably shouldn't have lagged behind. I gotta make sure I get this footage for the freaking, uh... For the freaking YouTube, man. And so everyone, there's just a bunch of enemies here. We're going in here, using our magic guys, killing stuff. And we got this over here, which are people are blowing up right now. Cool, we're up up front, we're up front, everything's good. I can never tell the reach of those arms, man. I guess right here is the safe spot. <laughs> Everyone else gets smacked around. Cool, and that's like the end of the Magitech section. Is it still... still? Okay. The bulk hit is composed of a special alloy. Extremely tough. Ordinary fire won't leave a mark, I'm afraid. You'll need to divert all power to the Magitic Cannon, as I did so memorably once before. As you may recall, the armor's core is like to expire from the stream, but there's no help for it if we want to press on. Now listen, press bzz, the control, bzz, engage auxiliary, then fire away, don't mind the warning lights. Huzzah!
Poor Maggie's gotta take a little rest. You're a natural at this. All right, the way's clear, but it's just you and your own two feet now, so be careful. Bum bum, bada bum, bada bum, bada bum. Are we at voice cutscenes yet? I think not. I think this is still not voiced. You have been leaving a fine mess in your wake, adventurer. Is someone there? Garland, old friend. How it warms the heart to hear your voice again after all these years. Nero? Is that you? You sound well. It would seem this savage land agrees with you. The highest ranking tribunus of the 14th. It was you all this time? Tell me, Garland, how long do you intend to keep all the glory for yourself? Huh? What? You've lost me. Don't play the fool with me. Ever since the Academy, I have been condemned to live in your shadow. By the objective measure, I was the one more talented of the two, yet that fact counted for naught besides with your privileged birth. You were admired as the young prodigy simply because your father was the great Midnus Nan Gardlon. When you defected, I felt sure my star would finally... Finally what? Rise. But by disappearing, you acquired the status of a legend. Your reputed genius gained credence merely by the dint of your absence. Instead of cursing you for a traitor, the people actually came to think of you more fondly. To this day, you are still the young prodigy of the Magitek. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have been made to feel second rate. I, who have continued to serve our nation faithfully, whenever I fail to excel, why, it is only to be expected. Yet, when I exceed all reasonable expectations, people proclaim that I walk in the footsteps of the great Sid Nan Bloody Garland. Nero, I... I don't know what to say. It matters not wit what I achieve. Your existence has rendered mine worthless. Even Lord Van Balzar saw fit to offer you a place to at his side. And this is in spite of your betrayal. Did he extend any such offer to me? The man who has remained loyal to him for all these years? Why, no, he did not. Long have I endured this injustice, but no more. Lord Van Balzar, in the midst of activating the fully powered Ultima weapon, is in the midst. It is my magnum opus, the creation that will win me the recognition I am due. I will not let anyone interfere. Nero, what are you? Even since I first set foot in the benighted land, I have watched you, every move you have made, every step you have taken. You have failed, failed icons, a feat made possible by the Echo, a peculiar power which shields you from their corrupting influence. It is of little wonder that my lord has taken an interest in you. As, I, as have I, if truth be told, it is my desire to harness your power for use of the ultimate weapon. Of the Ultima weapon. It's so easy to say ultimate by accident. I don't know why. Alright, so it's Nero time. Should I succeed, Lord Van Belzar will surely take notice. Besides this, Garland's achievements will be as child's play. Come, adventurer, and yield to me the secrets of your power. <laughs> okay, Enips. <laughs>
People like to drag them over here. I don't know why, but I'm just rolling with it. They just want to be next to the door. Oh crap, I hit the wrong button. People are just that hungry for that little extra distance. This changes nothing. I don't remember the lights cutting out. And he's gone. <laughs> the ultimate weapon is activated and it brims the power of icons. Nothing can withstand its might. Are you all right? What of Nero? Fled? Damn it. In the instant prior to the blackout, the instruments detected a massive power surge from the deepest chamber. Guys, it's certain to be there. We have no time to waste. You know, for all the times I've seen these cutscenes, I've never registered the power outage. Word arrived from the Alliance a short while ago. It seems the Order of the Twin Adder has completed its blockade of Castrum Sentry. What hands they spare are hastening this way as we speak, and likewise the Maelstrom. All that's left is destroy the ultimate weapon. Likewise for the old Maelstrom. I should warn you, the chamber which houses the target appears to be saturated with etheric energies. There's, there's bound to be heavy interference. But even if we lose contact, you must go on. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do, alright? I mean, you're not down here for starters. He was already doing it. <laughs> yes! Finally, we're in voice territory. Sure, my fan wasn't on. Keep your eyes peeled. Guys could be waiting for you down there. Come and don't even think about dying. You're too bloody useful. You're too bloody useful. Eneps is currently AFK right now. Don't tell nobody. Tell me for whom do you fight? Hmm. How very glib. And do you believe in Eorzea? Eorzea's unity is forged of falsehoods. Its city-states are built on deceit, and its faith is an instrument of deception. It is not but a cobweb of lies. To believe in Eorzea is to believe in nothing. In Eorzea, the beast tribes often summon gods to fight in their stead, though your comrades only rarely respond in kind, which is strange. Is it not? Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well in Cartano and call them down? They will answer. 
so long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts, icons, everyone, except for this, and you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. Nor is this unknown to your masters, which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Swan, to grovel at their feet? The answer? Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise! For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. To this end, he hath fought ever to raise himself through conflict, to grow rich through conquest. And when the dust of battle settles, it is ever the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. Knowing this, when a single path is open to the infinite ruler, that of false worship, a path which leads to innovation and death. Only a man of power can rightly steer the course of civilization. And in this land of creeping mendacity, that one truth will prove its salvation. Come, champion of Eorzea, face me. Your defeat shall serve as proof of my readiness to rule. It is only right that I should take your realm, for none among you has the power to stop me. All right, there we go. Guys, time. First of many. We ain't got time to move out of the burns, man. I had not thought to be so hard pressed. Freezer, freezer, freezer. That's all I can think of when I see this. Golden freezer. Most impressive. Such power befits a ruler. Yet, you lack the resolve. Bone needs some some energy, some power. I don't know what I'm doing, just passing the time. So we got three more battles to go. Three more battles. It's our boy, the Ultima Weapon. The big beefy chunky boy. A big chungus. <laughs> Allow me, then, hero, to do that 
which you will not. Hmm. Da 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 So you usually can't even damage ultimate weapon right now. You have to wait for something to happen. Bitch. There it is. Hark unto me, Crystal Bear, the echo is clad in steel. Death thou would triumph, thou must look upon the light. stole Garuda's essence, or something happened, like, it got sucked out of Ultimate Weapon. Done. To do without triumph, thou must look to the lights, and there's Ifrit. No! How are you doing this? Actually, I don't even know. I guess our powers of six crystals are doing that. Or is it just straight up Hydaelyn doing that? Thancred. Your foe acts under the protection of the crystal he bears. So, this is what empowers him. Why do I hear walking? Beyond what is happening? Mortal limits. If you 
are to prevail, the hammer of darkness must needs be brought to bear upon the shield of light. Is someone a monk on our team? That might explain the walk I'm hearing. So it shall, for the ultimate weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Speak plainly, Asian. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core. An enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec failed to scratch. The heart of Sabik. The magic within has lain dormant for eons. Of what magic do you speak? A spell without parallel. Ultima. Ultima. The life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the ultimate weapon lies within its now beating heart. Lahabria, what have you done? No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. The hour is at hand. Behold, but a sliver of my god's power. Here it comes. Here it comes. Unleash Ultima. And from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall tremble. Unleash. Ultima! But we're okay. We're safe. Ah, uh, yeah, so there was a monk on our team. <laughs> Some moogle <laughs> knuckles or whatever. Such devastation! This was not my intention! Such devastation! Iconic line, iconic oh, line. Heidelin. It seems the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. Van Belsa. Your enemy's shield is broken. The rest I leave to you. We will speak later. Asien. But first, I must deal with you. The question of who is mightier remains. Come. Adventure. Adventure. Let us the answer together. Fun times to be had coming up. All right, time for me to pull. Sorry, someone in chat that quotes as such a devastation line.
and done. Oh, what was said there? Oh, I missed it. Wasn't even in the log. Punch him out of golden form. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence, and their dependence comes at a cost to the realm. The misguided elevate the frail, and the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control, the cycle will never be broken. You, you of all people must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon. The ultimate magic. And still, you failed. So much for the glory of man. <laughs> Balance afflicting the planet must be redressed. If it is permitted to worsen, the very laws of existence, both etheric and physical, will be warped beyond all recognition. Know you the root of this corruption? Hydalin. Like a parasite, she must be burned out if the planet is to recover. And not but the return of the one true god will ensure her complete excision. Yet, to pave the way for the Master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the Primals. Needless to say, both you and your Scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. You will not leave this place alive. Alright, time to beat up La Habria! The final fight of the base, a realm reborn is here! Let's kick his butt, kick his butt, kick his butt! Make a choice and live with it. Mwahaha. Make not dark minions subtle words. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Now everyone else will be gone because no one's going to wait. But we're going to be watching this. 
And besides the newbies, the newbies. I don't know if we had any newbies in our party. Also, thank you ha for hanging, Eneps. Thank you for joining us. If thou wouldst pierce the shadows, make thee a blade of light. Hey, it's the scene we saw in the very, 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 very beginning. Of course, I was on a different character when I did that. But it's, it was this scene right here. Get smited, Thancred. Sucked you right out, man. We gave you physical form without Thancred, somehow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's actually properly explained. <laughs> Look, it's the Scions! There's Alphano. Where's Alize? Oh, she's not here right now. Cringe, but it's also not that cringe. I mean, it's kind of a cool moment, but the voice acting does kind of kill it. <laughs> cool, we we sucked out Lahabreha out of Thancred. We did it. We saved him. We saved our boy. Well, I can't give you a, a, a calm. I can't give you no calm. You have a pet. Hey, got two player combinations. Now you guys can't see that on stream, but I got two. the bills in the mail. <laughs> My trash needs changing. So apologies for trash sounds, everybody. Hey, Maggie's here to save us. I actually forgot about this. Was that Sid on our back there? And so my conquest ends, Sid. Oh. Go ahead, Zoe. I know you want out. In smoke. Go, go. And ashes. It didn't show up because I think I have that message turned off, but you do, you can hear the noise. Warrior of light, 
Beloved son. Wait, no, no. Actually, I think if you do leave, it will show up. The darkness hath fled before the unclosed brilliance of thy spirit. I, mean, I don't care if you leave right now. <laughs> Yet it lingers still beyond the sight of men in forgotten corners of the world. It's kind of, of the... In the depths of the abyss yet resideth the dark one, watchful ever. Till this evil be cast out, never shall the world know aught but a passing peace. I was trying to say... Yet, oh my god. Present, a gentle light shineth o'er the realm of Eorzea. It's part of the Final Fantasy XIV experience, that's what I was trying to say. Whew, okay, there. With thee <laughs> at its heart. From sparkling moat shall it swell to glorious sun, and all the world shall bask in its warmth. Blessings and joy be upon thee. Go forth, my child, and be as a beacon of hope for Eorzea and the lands beyond through all the days of thy life. Yeah, oh, you heard the noise. Actually, I think that was an update. I think an update changed that, so it didn't happen. All twin adder units have fallen back to the outer perimeter. The flames have completed their withdrawal, General. Oh, that voice sounds familiar. I feel like I recognize that voice. Admiral, all hands accounted for. That sounded like Thor. He's still in there. Whoever that random voice was, it sounded like Thor. Freaking Prince Hemsworth. <laughs> Has there been no word? <sighs> nothing. Nothing at all. Damnation! He's going to make it. I know he is. Ida is right. We must have faith. Sid, can they not be evacuated aboard the Enterprise? That adventurer and the Scions are as the Warriors of Light reborn. We cannot abandon them to their fate. Not again. I wholeheartedly agree. But flying into the midst of that would only add to the fireworks. There must be something we can do. Please, Mother Hydaelyn. Please light his way through the darkness. Look into the light, my child. If thou would see thy companions return safe to thee, reach out to them now. There! Where? Oh! <laughs> oh! I don't know why. That's so random. So who's on their back? Yay! Our warrior of light. Yes, the hero returns. Oh, Thancred, of course. Duh. Look, Thancred is with him. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Hydaelyn. Welcome home. Yeah, we have to save our boy Thanker, man. There's our clip of Midga Midgard Sormer. Just randomly shown back there. Almost got us killed that 
One time, remember? Now, now. We both know that was your fault. Thank the Twelve, we're safe. A credits. Mind your horns there, man -ball. Ha, Mayhap when you mind your manners. Damn. Though the crystal that bound Thancred is no more, I doubt we can say the same of La Habrea. And even if we could, we know that he is not alone. Confounded Bassians. Their god may be unknown to us, but their zeal is unquestionable. Suffice it to say, it would be folly to assume that they no longer pose a threat. Nevertheless, Richard Epcar, there he is, the boy. For now, we must savor what peace we have won, however ephemeral. Do you see, Grandfather? Kyle Herbert. Our first step towards realizing the dream for which you gave your life. Grant George, Amy Bolton from Minfilia. Friends, the dread night of imperial tyranny and Asian machination is ended. A new day now begins in Eorzea. Rabon J.C. Miller, name, Cindy the Robinson. The of the Seventh Dawn, along with our champion, have delivered us from darkness. Let their shared victories serve to remind us of our shared history. And let their bravery in the face of adversity Mella Lee. inspire future generations. Jean Elizabeth. Doubt not, the realm will need bravery in the days to come. Old rifts threaten to divide us within our walls, while hordes of beastmen claw at our gates. And though the Black Wolf be slain, the rest Steve of the Cannon. For Papa Limo, Thancreek was void by no need we fear. T. So Axelrod. As stand as one. So long as the Scions stand for peace. So long as our champion stands fast. For there exists no adversity over which we may not jointly prevail. <laughs> yes, Lane. No longer can we turn a blind eye to the suffering of Gideon eyes. Emery just stole it. Emily O'Brien. No nation stands alone. If one should fall, so shall we all. Orange's uh, is our Japanese voice actor was For Ken. All caps. Peace, so too must our neighbor. Alize Simon Just Simone B. Join in solidarity before you this day. And Alpha knows Sam so Regal. Too shall our grand companies be joined henceforth to strive not only for the good of mere nations but for the good of all the realm. Change Nero is Iron Steel. Overnight. Livia is Allison Lee's Let Taylor. See a day, not so very far from now, when the lines that divide our lands fade, and all of Eorzea is one. Is that all the voice actors? But five short years since the Battle of Cartan. We got the hen had a freaking voice. CJ3. The seventh Umbral era. What the hell, CJ3? No victory, however sweet, can wash away our bitter sorrows. No triumph can reclaim those we lost. Yet do not presume you honor them. I am still for twin editor. Dwelling on the past. Haley Alexander. It was not the past they fought for. You would repay their sacrifice by looking to the future. A future united, as the warriors of light united in the champion. Now is the time for us to rise as one. 
bearing all of Eorzea on our shoulders. Five years ago, Eorzea bore witness to the end of the sixth we saw his David era. Lodge. Now, the seventh Umbral era draws to a close. Yet we come together not to glory in its end, but to mark a new beginning. You ever notice her necklace looks like, like an upside down like pig? Like the nostrils facing up. <laughs> Let it be writ that on this day, by the light of the crystal, Eorzea ushered in a new era. The seventh astral era is come. And thus is ours, a realm reborn. Hey, they said it! A realm reborn! <laughs> Ruin? <laughs> and Ranji really does not speak here. The boy is super silent. Oh crap, I gotta tuck over the answers. Or I could probably just cut this part out, honestly. And so replaying this, I've noticed a couple things. Like I said, uh, I don't know, I said it ugh, like five minutes ago. Run J does not really talk at all in the base game. He like speaks up like once or twice. Otherwise he's just kind of there. <laughs> You'd have to talk to him outside of the main quest. To really get a, an idea of how he talks. And I honestly, I will fight this to the death. I feel like Olda uh, feels like the canon starting city. Because if you think about the way it plays out, it's like perfect for the arc of Thancred. Because you start out, because from my understanding, in the other starting cities, you would meet the other scions there. Like... If you start in Gridania, your introductory stuff would be with Ida and Papalimo, right? And if you were in Limsa Lomensa, you get Yostola, correct? So, with starting in Ulda, you get Thancred. Which is very important to how the story plays out. And it makes sense for him to be there in the beginning, because he will be gone later. It just works perfectly, and then when, because like, the betrayal that you would feel of him being an Asian would be stronger if you had the experience of doing Ulda as your starting city. Because if you didn't have him in the beginning, you'd only have that section with him with Ifrit, and that's it. So I honestly, do feel like Ulda is the best starting city. And not only that, there's some other things I like about Ulda. Like, I think their corrupt uh, leadership leads to a much more interesting dynamic. Plot-wise as well. Plus, also considering what's going to happen in post uh, A Realm Reborn, which I honestly won't talk about here if I do decide to include this in the YouTube video. But yeah, Elda just feels like the canon starting city. <laughs> I might include my little rant about Elda being the canon starting city, though, in the YouTube video. I might include that part. I'm gonna skip the rest of the credits. <laughs> I think that was the end of the credits. Okay, yeah. More cutscene, here we go! Is anyone going to talk? Is someone going to say something? <laughs> there we go. Everybody's gone! Uh, flashback power activate? Oh, we're looking at Zodiac right now.
I actually don't recall getting a glimpse of Zodiac's crystal. Wait, was that supposed to be a flashback? Oh my god. So I got excited because I was thinking of the implications no if that's supposed to be a flashback Where of yourself. Dread tidings, chaos and carnage. It is an abomination. A primal, a primal has awakened. <laughs> Uh, what primal is that? <laughs> Seriously, what primal was that? <laughs> it's so quiet. I don't know if that was Bahamut. It might have, I guess, because it might lead into the raid. Pash Terret. Bahamut. Oh, it is Bahamut. Who's Pash Terret? Terret. Do we know of this guy? I don't recall this guy at all. Bahamut stirs. One Azaz move star. I remember you. You will, and as will the others ere long, because you show up in the the one read. Tis not a question whether Eorz's champion shall sh shall yield, but when. All right, so that's what Nabrialis is supposed to look like. And with each passing moment, we draw closer to the reckoning. Pash Tarot. Tarot? Pash Tarot? To the one true god! To Zodiac. Pretty sure much of these guys are sundered Asians. And thus did dawn break on a realm reborn. Well, we know for a fact, uh, where there is light, there is always shadow. Actually, I think I got that one per Asian confused with another one. Alright, let me actually finish this quest. You know, let's talk to people. Hey, Arnvald. One day I will become a hero the, to the people like you. A hero like uh, Abba and Aoli were to me. Watching you live the life of free adventure has helped me realize that I can't keep putting off my dreams forever. I've been talking with Wedge about opening a workshop independent of Garland Ironworks. Maybe in Vilebrand. I don't know. Working with the chief is great and all, but someday I want to build my own enterprise, you know? You're an inspiration to us all, Farmak, an honest-to-gods hero that never gives up, never gives in, and neither will I. I'll win Tatru's heart. See if I don't. Yeah, I don't know if that plotline's ever gone anywhere. <laughs> the witch has a crush on Tatru. I think we could all do the good rest, don't you? I know I could. I still haven't had time to think about everything that happened. How about Nero and Gaius? Hey, it's the priest. We held a vigil to search until a word came of your success. I cannot express to you how relieved I am by your safe return, Firemac. Now, who the hell are you guys? Oh, hey! It's the guy from the caravan! Brent, I reckon a lot of more folk are taking up adventuring after hearing about what you've done. Brave men and women all hoping to become the next Firemac Summers. At least I get to brag about having met the original, eh? Oh, you know what? 
It did not strike me. I guess these must be the same character that you meet in the other caravans if you choose the other starting cities. Huh. Well, I never knew that. I never knew they actually changed the character. Well, so you sure... Yeah, you sure gave the Imperials what for. I knew you are something special, Fire Mac. Hey, have you come a long way since I first saw you running around the Waking Sands? Now, who the hell are you? Dar you still? Dar dare you still? By the gods, to think that this ragtag band of idealists could lay the 14th low. Tis a tale straight from a storybook. I imagine the former associates would find it most appealing. Appealing. After all, what young ruffian hasn't at one point fancied himself a hero in the making? I, I think I may bring more than a few recruits back with me from the Twelveswood. Yeah, I don't remember who the hell you are. Hee hee, we all decided to give you a special surprise. Welcome, just like the ones in heroic epics. Your story took many twists and turns, but you managed to get to the happy ending. Let's hope for more happy endings. So a new era has begun. On such a momentous occasion, I find it good for the soul to tie up loose ends. Hmm? What should I suggest you do? Why, the same thing you always do after accomplishing the task. Report to Minfilia. It ends where it begins, my friend. I realize I have been the cause of tremendous consternation, and for that I deeply apologize. Oh, uh, you haven't the time to waste chatting with me. Minfilia is expecting you. The land my master sheltered from oblivion hath been delivered unto a new beginning by the hand of the warrior of light. Thus doth history mark the passing of an era. The dawn doth brighten the sky and shineth over this nascent age of hope. Though the clouds gather to mute the sun's rising glory, I, wa I would walk far with thee under its gentle glow. Welcome back, warrior light. We all, <clears throat> we all of us, pray for your safe return. Oscar, what are you doing? What are you doing, Oscar? The seventh astral era has dawned, setting in motion a myriad of new beginnings. I suspect our past will diverge from for a time. Have you said your farewells to the Scions? I'm doing that right now. It doesn't it? Wait, what was this? Pretty sure... Maybe even one of the few guys hunted down himself. Oh, you're right. Uh... It doesn't it? I don't know what that one was a reference to. Alpha no. When men go as one, there is life. And where there is life, there is cause to hope. Light of hope shines brilliantly within you, Fire Mac. I only wish the grandfather <clears throat> I only wish my grandfather were here to see it. It voiced. I mean, it's like the final thing. Nope. Okay. The Archons have conducted a preliminary investigation into the origin of the roar that rang out during the celebration. Their findings strongly suggest that a new primal has appeared. The roar generated a distinctive wave pattern in the ether, a pattern observed only once before in history, five years ago. To be precise, I should link. Should like to think it mere coincidence, yet we cannot discount the possibility. Well, I trust I need say no more. A great sacrifice. We have delivered Eorzea from the threat posed by the Empire and the Primals. <laughs> and thereby secure peace. We cannot al well allow the realm to be plunged into chaos once more. You have given your all for our cause, risking life and limb on I know not many occasions, yet our struggle continues, and we need you now no less than before. Please continue to stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm of this very star. Woo! Finally! It was in response to Wish trying to romance Tataru. It doesn't. Gotcha. Flying unlocked! So this is what it would feel like if for people now, huh? Back in my day, which wasn't very long ago, that did not unlock flying for me. <laughs> Yay, yeah, yeah, I've completed a Realm Born Part 4! <laughs> Okay, so here's the plan. When I come back to stream in the... Because I'll be taking like an hour and a half break. And when we come back... 
Instead of going to part five, I'm gonna have to do something else. I have to... Uh, where is it? I have to do... The Crystal Tower Raids. Because it's actually... Important for me to do that, because it's a part of the main story. <laughs> now it is. So I'm gonna come back and do that. I don't know if I should do the Buying Coil of Bahamut. I mean, there is a lot of good lore in there, but I don't know. I have a lot on my plate. I'll definitely have to do the Crystal Tower, though. 